Hey there, everyone. I'm Nathan, and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, and we assist clients from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones and tablets and other mobile devices. One of the services that we're most frequently asked to perform by our clients is the removal of the Google Account Lock feature on an Android device. Now, here with me today, I have an LG Stylo 3, originally from T-Mobile here in the U.S., and this is one that has had the Google account lock enabled. During the setup wizard here, we get to a screen that asks us for the previous Google account information that was on the device. Now then, just so you can see here what we're dealing with, we do have an LG TP450, which is the T-Mobile version of the Stylo 3. To get our focus to kick in, there we go. So TP450. We're making this video, though, to let all of our clients know that we do offer a service to be able to remove the lock from the device, and that's actually exactly what we're going to do right here while we have the phone plugged into our computer program. A little background on the Google account lock first. It's something that Google initiated in Android a few years back, where when you do a factory reset to the device without first removing the Google account lock that's attached to it, then the device is locked to that account after the reset, and then you have to have the email and the password to be able to get back into it. So that's what we're dealing with here on this device. It's something that we've helped thousands of clients with over the years that we've been in business. It's usually either a scenario where they've locked themselves out of their own phone accidentally, and they didn't remember their email and their password to get back in, or unfortunately in this case, it's also a scenario where a lot of times a dishonest seller will be selling the phone, someone will go to buy it, and the seller won't tell them about the phone's true status, that it has the Google account lock enabled. Therefore, after the buyer discovers that the lock is there, obviously the seller has disappeared, it's too late to get back in contact with them, and the seller is stuck with a device that they can't get into or access. But we do offer these services for tons of different devices, and that's something that we'll be able to show you that we are working on right here. So the phone's just rebooting from doing the reset here, from running our computer program. We're going to give it just a second to run through the boot up process here, and then we'll be able to see at the end that we are able to get past that account and into the home screen and use the device as normal. It might take just a second here for the phone to kick back on, so if you want to go ahead and skip through the rest of the video, you can go ahead and do that. We've got the T-Mobile logo there. Obviously, we are dealing with a T-Mobile device here. And it should be up in just another few moments here. Oh, that's right. On newer software versions, we get this Android is upgrading uh, process sometimes. We'll have to wait for that to run through before we can get in. So again, if you want to skip ahead, feel free. So we're just about halfway there. <clears throat> I should also mention Metro PCS is the main prepaid brand of T-Mobile, and they also have their own branded phones with their own unique model numbers. This is also something that we're able to do for the Metro PCS version of the phone since they're essentially identical in every way. So if you have the Metro PCS version, not specifically the T-Mobile one, it's also something that we'll be able to assist you with. Okay, we can go and unplug it here. Looks like we just hit 100% on our progress bar there, so we're just waiting for it to kick on. And we should be able to get directly to the home screen. There we go. So we can see the lock screen here, showing the time and the date and everything. And then if we just do a swipe there. Um, yep, sure enough. Okay, there we go. We are now at the main home screen. We have full access to the settings and all the functions of the phone, and the Google account lock has been successfully and completely bypassed. 
So, if you have a T-Mobile or a Metro PCS LG Stylo 3 and need help getting the Google account lock removed, we would love to help you out with that, so go ahead and get in contact with us. All of our contact information will be right in the video description, and I'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all the information there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out all the other videos on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy down the road. Make sure to hit the subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos that we're constantly putting up, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes no duden en contactarse con nosotros. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.